How are you guys upping the ante with season two of The Strain? There's a lot more battles this season, um, a lot more fights. Uh, it's, it's really dark this season. And we also have a lot of humor that we bring to it too. So we kind of took season one and amplified it. What's it like being on a show where it seems like at any moment anyone can be killed? Exciting. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, it means that every time you get a new episode, you're excited because you don't know what's going to happen. It's not procedural. Every episode is fun and new and different and a challenge to play. So it's it's all you can hope for as an actor. What are your thoughts about the virtual reality experience here at Comic-Con for The Strain? Oh my God, that was so much fun. I was just, I kept saying to Kevin, I was like, it felt like I was back on set. I was like, I wanted to like grab him and be like, no, we've got to run. Um, yeah, it was it was really good. I was really impressed. I don't know what I was thinking I was going to see, but I I was just so overwhelmed by it. And yeah, I loved it. <laughs> Is it scarier than being on set? Kind of, because on set, you know, you're, they're calling cut, and like, you're you're not sort of surrounded. This was kind of quite scary. When the seat moved, I was just like, what? Um, yeah, it was great. What would the video game be if they made the strain video game? What would it be? Uh, well, you know, you'd be Dutch. <laughs> and you'd be fine with that. I don't know, man. Um, I reckon you'd probably be Fett if, you, if there was a video game. Or you would be following Fett around. Maybe that's, maybe they've cottoned on to something there. Maybe it would be you go around with Fett killing the vampires. Yeah, that would be cool.